Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Osman Ali and we will discuss in this video uh, how to record the discounts. So if you remember we had a discussion in our PPT, uh, the, the chapter material, where we said that there are two discounts that we offer, trade discount and cash discount. Trade discounts are offered to attract customers and they are intended to increase your revenues and sales. So we do not do the accounting for trade discounts but once the sales is made and if it is a credit sales then in order to encourage customers to submit or to give us the money quickly as quickly as possible so we offer them cash discounts cash discounts terms are also offered on that like the one here in our example 2 by 10 net 30 net 60 so net 60 means that in total there are 60 days with the customer to pay the money but if the customer managed to pay the money in the first 10 days starting from today we will give him two percent discount on whatever the customer owe us so let's do an example of how to record such discounts if it is offered by the organization by a business so the examples is that on june 3 the company sold to its customer a merchandise having a sales price of ten thousand dollars so the total worth was ten thousand dollars with a term of two by ten at thirty so now you do know what is two by ten at thirty means with an fob shipping point on june 12 the company received a check of four thousand dollar from the customer and the remaining will be paid after the 10 days discount time period so prepare the journal entries assuming that the the company records the gross sales or the net sales so we're going to focus on both now the sales were made on 3rd of june so if i continue with the same date 3rd of june then 10 days would be 13th of june like that would be the 11th day so 12 june means it comes within the limit of the 10 days so whatever money is paid by the customer to the company that customer is eligible for a two percent discount based on two by ten so the customer is actually planning to finish the liability of four thousand dollars so there will be a two percent discount on four thousand dollar we are not gonna give him two percent discount on the whole ten thousand dollar no only that portion of the account receivable uh, or the money paid that the money which is being paid that's four thousand dollar in our example okay now before going to that discount uh, let's record the point of entry at the sales that when you made a sales so obviously that was the point of entry the starting point of the story so when you make a sale and if your organization is using a gross method then the entry they would do is sales credit ten thousand and account receivable debit ten thousand dollars okay but if the organization plans or intends to use the net method then what they will do is that prior to the receiving the money they're gonna actually assume it the starting point assumption of the starting point would be that they will assume that the customer will avail two percent discount and they're gonna deduct two percent from the complete sales figure so two percent of ten thousand dollar if you multiply that it's two hundred dollars so two hundred dollar are subtracted from the ten thousand dollar it becomes 9,800 so in the net method the company will credit 9,800 sales and they will debit account receivable by 9,800 so this is a point of difference it's called gross method $10,000 because in the gross this $200 discount is also present which if the customer paid us money in time he will be or she will be entitled to receive it otherwise not in the net method the discount is already assumed that they will take it and we have deducted that now let's come to the four thousand dollar payment which was made by the customer and that was eligible the customer as he paid within the 10 days so he is eligible for two percent more discount now how much money was paid uh, by the customer actually the customer is not paying four thousand dollar actually but the customer is by paying whatever the money is he or she is trying to finish an a liability on him herself worth four thousand dollars so we're gonna credit four thousand dollars because once the account receivable is collected it gets credited so we will credit four thousand dollar account receivable 
and we're gonna debit nine thousand uh, sorry three thousand nine hundred and twenty dollars which is ninety eight percent of this four thousand you can multiply that ninety eight percent of the four thousand dollar the remaining two percent of the four thousand dollar is actually the discount okay I will also open the calculator so whatever calculations are needed we can do that calculations actually here so if you see if I go for 2% discount on 4000 because the customer will be eligible so that's $80 and if we subtract that from 4000 so that's 3920 it means that the customer will give us cash of 3920 and we will credit 4000 worth of account receivable 80 will be debited to the sales discount that would be an expense for the company whereas in the net method as the discount was already subtracted so no such subtractions will be done this time we would directly debit 3920 and we will directly credit 3920 which is the money actually the customer is paying us now out of ten thousand dollars account receivable four thousand dollars are settled so how much is remaining six thousand dollars is remaining if the ten out of ten thousand four thousand are settled six thousand are remaining this six thousand the customer will pay us the discount the remaining money after the 10 days discount time okay which means if it's paid by the customer after 10 days and the customer is not eligible for any discounts the customer okay so what the customer gonna do in the gross method he will give us complete six thousand dollar unlike the previous one three nine two zero he will give us complete six thousand dollar cash and we will finish the liability of six thousand uh, dollar also which is account receivable to our side and his side its liability whereas in the net method now the customer is paying us money after the discount period so now the customer is not eligible to get any discount and the problem here is we only and only recorded the net value in which discount was already subtracted so obviously we are not gonna take uh, what you say less money from the customer we're gonna take the full money six thousand dollar because he is paying us the money after the discount period so we will receive six thousand dollar from the customer and we will debit cash debit six thousand in contrary to this what we are crediting is five thousand eight hundred and eighty if I multiply two percent with this six thousand it gives me one hundred and twenty then when I subtract one twenty from the six thousand it will give me five eight eight zero okay or even let me do it here six thousand minus one hundred and twenty so it's five eight 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 zero it means that customer is giving us six thousand dollars we will credit in return of that five thousand eight hundred and eighty account receivable hundred and twenty is extra money which customer is paying us as compared to our account receivable why because there was a sales discount to him a cash discount but as the customer did not avail the opportunity so it's got forfeited and we're gonna create an, um, a credit account for that so it would be credited sales discount forfeited so ladies and gentlemen this is how you uh, record the gross and net method okay uh, i hope you got the point and then obviously we're going to discuss that in our class as well thank you very much ladies and gentlemen stay safe